Oh, you can definitely see the shooter there. I had to do this all over again. But do we put the gram? Something I want to say before this video starts is I broke three nails today. So just because of that, please subscribe and watch the whole thing. You may ask, how did you break three nails today? Well, I don't know, but... Welcome back! So after months of telling you guys that I'm gonna post more on Instagram and not doing so, I've come to the conclusion that I either make content for Instagram deliberately or I don't post anything at all. I always have these excuses that I don't leave the house so it would look so repetitive and boring. But because we cannot leave the house now, I thought I would make the most out of it and try and do as many pictures at home as I can. Also because I like to make this kind of series, like I have this one skirt and outfits video, uh, well I have two of those and then I have a t-shirt and outfits video. I wanted to keep this theme of a number and see what can I do with it. So I'm gonna take a white shirt and make as many pictures as I can for the feed and yeah I'm gonna get changed I got this new like t-shirt dress but I feel like if you have like a boyfriend or husband or brother with a big white shirt that would work great too because I'm looking for these kind of vibe like a very loose big oversized shirt okay so shirt on and let's see what we can do with this so when it comes to Instagram pictures, you have different categories. That could be outfit photographies, flat lay, details, and candid shots. Those that look very casual and something like this, right? Within those categories, of course, you have themes like the bed theme or the kitchen theme. Sky's the limit here, guys. I'm gonna start with the detailed pictures and was really inspired by this one because the moment I saw it I thought I do have something very similar to that. I have this watch, it is a vintage watch. I think I could use it and recreate that picture. It's okay to try and recreate things if you feel like you're stuck in your routine because when you start working and getting creative even if it's to recreate something your imagination starts flowing and working so maybe you start doing something and it will end up being completely different so um it's okay i'm gonna try and do something with this and we'll see how it goes now as you guys can see I started with that reference picture but then I started doing something else and trying some other things. So that's what I mean with don't be afraid of recreating something because your imagination will go further than that so it's all fine. I'm gonna do an outfit picture and I'm gonna use this background or this as a background. Okay so I have this set. Oops, and I'm gonna try some poses. Okay, I need both hands. I have a present set, and I'm gonna use these shooter. I think we have one. I've taken a bunch of them, and at least one will work, hopefully. <laughs> My me, it's been a few hours, I had lunch and I had a coffee and I came back. Uh, by the way, I'm not wearing the same hoodie. This is my fiance's hoodie, so it's pretty similar but it's different, so <laughs> the times we're living in. Now for the flat lay, I feel like this one can be the easiest picture, but it can also be kind of tricky because you're like me, I'm very picky and I like to try things out, but you can get a bunch of those and this kind of picture with the shirt works great either with masculine or feminine accessories. I'm gonna leave you here. This is from my fiance's Instagram and he started posting last week and he's like, oh, you need to take pictures of me because I need to upload my Instagram. And I'm like, okay. He has a picture with a flat lay with a shirt with some elements like his wallet watch tie things and it looks great like if you have 
very basic but essential pieces it looks amazing so yeah whenever you want to do a flat lay with a white background i would suggest you do it with a shirt as a background because it has it adds that texture and if you add the buttons and the like the color maybe if you fold the wrist on top of that and add layers upon layers it adds dimension to the pictures but you know i'm gonna start layering here I think I'm gonna use the watch again, like this, maybe open this and put the watch here, also add a natural element in it. Yeah, this is pretty much the look that I'm going for, like the texture of the shirt, the gold details, this kind of natural element. Also this perfume with neutral colors, this kind of accessories, like to make everything like very girly and cute and I don't know something like this right that looks good for the last picture uh, the casual picture uh, we're in the kitchens for this picture the girls are either drinking a cup of coffee or looking at the fridge so um yeah i'm gonna do that it was either do a picture in bed or do something else but i recently posted a picture on my bed so i don't want to be repetitive so i would try the kitchen this is how i have set the camera i'm going to be standing there i'm gonna grab a mug and i'll pretend i'm drinking coffee <laughs> sounds like a plan <laughs> Oh, I think I'm gonna put my hair up in a bun right after I change the batteries because, of course. I'm gonna use you guys as a mirror to do my low bun. The low bun that casual coffee drinker girls wear. So ridiculous. But do we put the gram? Is it? Ugh. Is this casual? Okay, let's start taking pictures and then we'll see. And now you have to be very casual and very ethereal and your feet have to be pointy all the time because we're casual but we want to look taller so okay okay it wasn't i didn't take any pictures so i had to do this all over again professional over here these are the pictures that we took i meant to do this more often it's not that all you can you can definitely see the shooter there. <laughs> well, that was a fail. As a bonus, I wanted to try something a bit different. The casual picture, but something created to be in black and white. And this is something that I remember back when I was studying photography at the School of Art. There was one teacher that told me, and she was so right about this, is people sometimes try to make their pictures look more interesting by putting them in black and white. And, and that's not gonna work. If your picture is boring, it's gonna be boring. It doesn't matter if it's in color or black and white. So what I'm trying to say here is that pictures in black and white need to be taken that way. Um, I don't know if you're making any sense. It's something that you learn by watching pictures upon pictures upon pictures and trying different things and, and seeing and learning about the storytelling in pictures. Yeah, with that being said, I want to take something like casual. It's the end of the day, I'm taking my makeup off. So I want to do something like very with the minimal lighting, with a bit of movement. I'm gonna try and move a bit so it kind of has that so the idea of the pictures is to take it here something like in between like almost stalker like i'm gonna set the tripod with the phone and i'm going to show you how it goes and now that's the picture as you can see it has some movement like is not as defined as it would be like this one which is a bit more defined um but here you can see it's all like faded features are faded now that picture being black and white kind of resembles the silence of the end of the day and i think i'm going to edit that one real quick so you guys can see what i mean 
Also, something that I love adding to these kind of pictures in black and white is crane, even though I added to all of my pictures. This makes a huge difference. Uh, you cannot see it here. Okay, guys, so that was the video. It's been a lot of fun. Tips that everyone would give you, but once I've applied them and I've seen how it works, I don't find it that difficult. I'm in my house, I can try and be creative and yeah, you can do so much with it. Just change the background and you're at home so you can do whatever you want. It's not like when you go out in the public and there's something that you don't like but you cannot move it. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to leave you guys my Instagram around here so please go there and follow me because I'm gonna be uploading more content there for sure. Like now I have five more pictures so I'm gonna be uploading them. Yeah, so you can see them in real life. Like did it actually happen if you didn't post it? Um, if you want to ask me anything, if you want me to do more things like this, you want me to recreate pictures or something and send them to me maybe I can do a whole series about this and yeah it was a lot of fun I had a lot of fun I really liked it and I hope you guys enjoyed it thank you so so much for watching you guys are the best and I'll see you guys in my next video bye